Finally, let's look at some quadrants, okay, by factoring. So solving by factoring. Well, first off, we're going to employ what we call the zero product principle. So if we have x plus 3 times x minus 7 equaling 0, we know that we can set each factor equal to 0 by that zero product principle and solve each one. So subtract 3 from both sides, x equals negative 3, add 7, x equals 7. Remember, because we're looking at quadratics, we're going to have two solutions. If we have something like this, p squared minus 3p equals 0, well, we have to factor, right? It's not in factored form like the first one. So the first rule of factoring is to factor out the common factor, which we have p out, which is common, p minus 3 equals 0. Set each factor equal to 0. So p equals 0, p minus 3 equals 0. P equals 0, you can't change, but we can add 3 to both sides. So we have P equals 3. Our two solutions, right? 0 and 3. If we have something like this, Y squared minus 25 equals 0. Again, we need to factor it. It's set equal to 0, so we're going to use the difference of squares. So y and y, 5 and 5, plus and minus. So we have y plus 5 equals 0, y minus 5 equals 0, minus 5. And add 5 to this one. So we have y equals 5, right? And our two solutions, minus 5 plus 5. By the way, we're going to find a shortcut to that one later on. If we have something like this, x squared minus 4x equals 21. Well, we can't factor this out directly. Why? Because it's not set equal to 0. So the first step is to subtract 21 from both sides. You've got to get it equal to 0 leading term positive. What is the leading term? In this case, x squared. That's the first term. Now that it's set equal to 0, let's factor. We have x and x. Factors of 21 that get us to 4, 7, and 3. Opposite signs, bigger factor, negative. Set our factors equal to 0. And again, same thing, add 7, x equals 7, subtract 3, x equals negative 3, our two solutions. And, oh, one more, if we have this, 3x squared minus 6x minus 45 equals 0. So first things first, it's set equal to zero. We're happy there, but what do we need to do? We need to factor out a GCF. There's a common factor of three. X squared minus two X minus 15 equals zero. Factor. So what do we have? X and X. Factors of 15 that get us to 2, there's 5 and 3, opposite signs, bigger factor negative. If we set the factors equal to 0, we ask 3 is a factor, but can 3 equal 0? So we, don't, we discard it because it doesn't, we know that. So we have x minus 5 equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0, and solve each one. 
x equals 5, and x equals negative 3. Okay, so that's solving by factoring.